Okay, in this video, I'm going to look at three equations that came in an exam, um, <clears throat> which I'm going to solve. So, stay tuned, watch this video up to the end as I'm going to solve uh, these three questions which are coming from mensulation. So, stay tuned and watch up to the end of this video. Okay, so the first question is uh, question nine, that is paper one, question nine, which is a solid wooden block has mass of 600 gram and volume of 1200 centimeter cubic calculate the density of wooden block okay so a solid of 600 grams has the volume of 1200 centimeter cubic calculate the density of the wooden block okay so what you need to, to know is you need to know the formula of density for you to get this question correct so the formula of density is the uh, density is equal to mass over volume okay so which means we are given mass and volume in this question so that makes our question very easy okay so the, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to replace mass and volume by their values okay so we can say equal to then what is the mass given is 600 grams so we're going to put 600 grams over 1000 centimeter cubic because that's the 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 the, the value of volume given okay once we have done that the next thing we're going to do is now we're going to divide um 600 grams by uh, 1200 centimeter cubic okay so as a mathematician, what is important is you need to know, identify when you need to uh, reduce the number, okay? When you need to reduce the number so that you have got smaller numbers. So what I mean is if the number you are trying to, the dividend and the divisor, if they, they can be reduced, then you reduce. If there is a factor that can go into both numbers, you can reduce that. But... Uh, if you see that the, the dividend has zeros and the divisor has zeros, you can still cancel out zeros so that you make the number to be smaller, okay? That doesn't change the value of the answer you're going to get. So someone who's going to divide directly 600 divided by 1,200, the answer is going to get is the same answer I will get when I uh, get rid of zeros, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to cancel zeros on top and the zeros down. So I'll cancel the first zero as well as the first zero down the second zero on top as well as the second zero down so so that i can remain with six over twelve okay so can twelve go into six we are saying no or we can say twelve into six it will go zero times so i can still write zero there once we've done that then we're going to borrow zero from nowhere to add to six when we do that that means uh, down here on the quotient, we are going to put a decimal point because this zero came from nowhere. So, we're going to put a decimal point. Then, we're going to say uh, 60 divided by 12 will go five times. So, that is what will give us 0 0.5. So, the answer here is 0 0.5. Now, we haven't finished writing the answer yet. We have to put the units. So, we're going to put uh, we are going to take first the, the, the unit which is on top, which is grams. So we are going to put 0 0.5 grams. Then pay, we are going to put the forward slash. Uh, then we are going to put forward slash. Then we put centimeter cubic. So the answer is 0 0.5 grams per centimeter cubic. That is the correct answer. So that was the correct answer. And the answer among the answers which were given on the question the correct answer was uh, 0 0.5 grams per centimeter cubic okay so this is the first question we have solved which came in 2019 question paper one let's go to the next question which we are going to get from question paper two 2019 so in this video this is the second question which is also coming in 2019 paper so the question was the diagram below shows a cylinder with diameter 7 cm and height 10 cm. Take pi as 22 over 7. 
okay so this is the cylinder down which is drawn and you can see it has a diameter of 7 centimeter and 10 centimeter as the height so we ask to calculate the volume of this cylinder okay so just like when you are calculating other prism it can be triangular or rectangular prism and when you calculating the formula you use when you are calculating prism and cylinder is the same so the formula is volume which is equal to area of the base multiplied by height okay so what this formula means is just like uh, you have got multiple uh, a circle or maybe things that you are piling up and then they make up a volume of 10 centimeter in this example so it's more or less like the circles you are piling up and then they also create the the the, the height of 10 centimeter just like that so that's what it means so basically is when you are finding the volume, you are talking about the amount of space it's occupying, the three dimension object is occupying. Okay, so volume of of the cylinder is equal to area of the base times height. Okay, so what we are trying to say here is, uh, which is equal to the area of the tri of the base. The area of the base is equal to uh, pi uh, multiplied by radius squared okay pi multiplied by radius squared okay in this question we're not given the radius we're given the diameter i'll come to that later on then the all of that multiplied by height okay so let me write the equal sign and open bracket so the pi given is 22 over 7 okay 22 over 7 multiplied by so what is the radius so for us to find the radius for us to find the radius we need to go to the diameter given so diameter is equal to two radius so one diameter is made by two radius that means if the diameter is 10 then the radius will be 5 when you get two radius and combine them they will give you a 10 okay so in this case we are given 7 centimeter as the diameter so therefore the radius will be 7 centimeter which is the diameter the half of 7 centimeter is 3.5 centimeter okay so the radius is the half of diameter and diameter is the double of radius so that is what or that is the relationship between radius and the diameter so as we have found already the the radius of this cylinder is 3.5 so i'm going to multiply 22 over 7 multiplied by 3.5 raised to the power 2 because in the formula for the base of the cylinder we have that formula which is pi radius raised to the power 2 okay so now what we're going to do is we're going now to multiply that so we're going to cross it in the bracket then we multiply by height which is 10 centimeter okay once we've done that then we'll start working it out so we'll start with those which are in brackets so we start with the inner brackets which is 3.5 raised to the power 2 so we're going to write that okay 22 over 7 then multiply by so 3.5 times 3.5 will give us 12.25 centimeter squared you need to be conscious of the units then the whole of that is going to be multiplied by 10 centimeter okay we are still dealing with numbers in brackets so we have got in brackets 22 over 7 multiplied by 12.25 centimeter squared so i'm going to multiply 22 multiply by 22 multiply by 12.25 centimeter squared which will give us 269.5 the whole lot of that divide 
over 7 or divide by 7. Okay, 269.5 over 7 times over 7. So, we shouldn't forget the sign. This the unit of 269.5, which is centimeter squared multiplied by 10. Okay? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide um, 269.5 divided by 7, which will give us 38.5 centimeter squared. Don't forget the units. Always remember the units. Okay? Then what we're going to do now, we're going to multiply 38.5 centimeter squared multiplied by 10, which will give us... Uh, 385 centimeter now as you can see I multiplied centimeter squared multiplied by centimeter that means when you are multiplying num numbers with powers then you add the powers so centimeter is more like here is less to the power one so centimeter squared is less to the power two so we're going to add two plus the centimeter this other side so we're going to have centimeter cubic okay uh, to understand this you can check on the laws of indices so this is the volume of the this cylinder so this was the correct answer for this question the correct answer was 385 centimeter cubic okay let's go to question number three the last one in this video okay <clears throat> this is question three which is the diagram below show a triangular prism U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So that is the one down there, the triangular prism, which has got the height of 9 cm and the breadth of 12 cm and the slanting there, which is the hypotenuse, which is 15 centimeter and the height of 20 centimeter okay so <clears throat> coming down here it's written given that angle VUZ equal to angle WXY equal to 90 degrees UV is equal to 12 centimeter VW is equal to 20 centimeter and VZ is equal to 15 centimeter and UZ is equal to 9 centimeter. Calculate the volume of the prism. Okay, so basically what we need to identify is we need to identify uh, numbers or figures we're going to use to find the volume of this prism. So as you can see, this statement here is not important when you are calculating the volume of a prism this statement the angle this explanation is not important so you just have to ignore it then what we're going to use among these figures we're going to use that height 9 centimeter the breadth or width which is uh, 12 centimeter as well as the 20 centimeter the height of this prism so these are the things we're going to use so once we have identified what we want to use then we are going to come up with a formula it's okay the formula is volume is equal to area of the base times the height area of the base times the height then we are going to say area of the so we're going to write the area of the base so the area of the base is just the area of a triangle so if you know how to find the area of the triangle that's the area of the base is that we are calling this one as the base because this even if the 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 the, the triangle is lying uh, we will still consider these sides where there is these as the bases, yeah? where these uh, the light angles are drawn, these are the bases, the two sides. So I'm going to write 1 over 2 
we are writing the formula of finding the area of a triangle okay multiplied by the high, that one should be the not the base but it should be the breadth of the width <coughs> times the height because we are trying to find the tri the area of a triangle okay so that when i was typing I, this one came in then times height so the area of the triangle is 1 over 2 times breadth times height so <coughs> that is the area of the triangle okay so as you can see this formula has got two heights so uh, the other height is for the prism and the other one is for the area of the triangle okay now let's um, put the figures in this formula okay so I'm going to write in equal to then you open bracket then one over two multiply by what is the base so as you can see the base is 12 so I'm going to write multiply by 12 centimeter you need to take note of the units you don't have to leave the units out let me just remove these which I drawn so that the, it can be clear okay then what is the height the height is 9 centimeter the height is is the, is the line uh, between z and u okay then cross bracket then multiply by the height of this prism is 20 centimeter which is v to w okay once we've done that then we are going to work out so as you can see 12 and 2 they can be reduced so 2 into 2 will get 1 2 into 12 will get 6 okay so now we can say 1 by 6 will give us 6 so what is remaining there is uh, let me just write the equal sign what is remaining there is 6 multiply by 9 multiply by 20 okay so 6 multiply by 9 will give us 54 centimeter squared then times 20 centimeter so 54 centimeter squared times 20 will give us 1080 centimeter cubic so this is the volume of this triangular prism thank you so much for watching it has been easy learning z mathematics the future is bright thank you so much god bless you